Hi, I'm Rory, Head of People Advisory Services here at the Microsoft practice within DXE Technology. We support you to deliver mission critical digital transformation and support you to lead your people through change. Today I'd like to share some insight from our approach to Microsoft Dynamics 365 training and personnel skill development. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about the importance of people and growing their technology skills, applying a competency-based approach to embed new ways of working, and I'm going to share some of my top tips on how you can plan and execute training in your organisation. Here at DXC, we support you to connect your customers, your products, people and data through Microsoft's cloud-based business applications, Microsoft Dynamics 365. Implementing new processes and deploying new technology will impact how your teams of people do their work, their job roles, workflows, reporting lines, and even personnel behaviors will change. Structured training and competency development will support your team's transition from how they do their job today to how they'll do their job in the future. Our approach supports your people to work in a different way and equips them with the skills to adopt and grow your Dynamics 365 solution. Unlike more traditional approaches, role-focused competency-based training is designed to ensure the learner can achieve specific outcomes to an agreed standard. For competency-based trainers, once competencies are built and assigned to learners, the trainer will know the precise learning that is required to bring the learner to the desired level of competency. The benefits of this approach are that everybody is trained to the same standard to agree criteria. People receive role-specific training based on what they need to do their job. Effectiveness is measured based on outcomes rather than attendance at a session. Competency-based training is learning by doing. And finally, you can use competency-based training as a framework for all training across your organisation not just for those people who are impacted by the project. And now I'm going to share some of my top tips for planning and delivering training. A sound starting point is to identify the key functional areas of your solution that are going to be deployed across the organisation, as this is going to indicate the people who will likely be affected. This is not identifying individuals that need training, this is identifying roles that need training to support new processes that you've designed. Once you know the roles that need training, you can start to define and build your catalogue of training competencies specific to that role. You should start by defining the outcomes you want the operator to achieve. A competency is a specific skill that an operator needs to perform a task or activity to a specified standard you need to train the operator in the new process that you want them to conduct. Competency-based training is learning by doing rather than learning by watching PowerPoint presentations. The learner should be guided through the process using a combination of demonstration and hands-on experience within Dynamics to learn new processes. You should support learners by providing training guides, fact sheets and business process maps to support their learning. Tip number five, build your rollout schedule. Work with internal stakeholders to validate a training schedule. You should agree dates, times, locations, and small groups of people who should attend each session. Microsoft and DXC offer a vast range of online training for all business applications at all levels. Why not complement your training program with additional online learning? If you'd like to know more, you can reach out to the team here at DXE to discover more insights or drop me a message direct via LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.